Hi, I'm Rory Bateman, and you might know me from such films as Things That Grip My Shit, A Fairy Tale of the Neaton, Crisps, and the one where the dog shit all over the house couldn't clean it up, that which was more popular than any other one. And it didn't really have me in it. But anyway, welcome to a new episode, the weekly episodes, in a weekly series which I'll be bringing to you each week when I go for my Sunday stroll. Not many people know that we've got so much beauty on our doorstep and we always moan that there's nothing out there, it's so boring. That's Max by the way. He's got asthma. So there'll be a lot of panting in this video. It's so boring, there's nothing out there. Well there is, if you just go out and find it. And I'm on a one-man mission to make that change. So, welcome to the first episode. This episode is entitled The Hills of Boudicca. Ba ba ra ra is rambles ba ba ra ra is rambles ba 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 ra is rambles. Boudicca was an Anglo-Saxon queen. She had flame red hair, burning brown eyes, and she derived from the south of England. She was an Anglo-Saxon queen, was Boudicca, or Boudicca, or Boudicca, or Boudicca, or Boudicca, however you want to pronounce her name. The Boods, the Boodmeister. She was an Anglo Saxon queen, and the people loved her. The Anglo Saxon peasants, the shit eaters, and the pig dick munchers, the people that used to make straw houses. They loved her. And why did they love her? Because a little known fact about Boudicca. First part of Boudicca's name. Boud derives from the French word boudoir, which means bedroom. And IKEA, as we all know, is the famous Scandinavian furniture company. Boudicca was renowned for making cheap and excellent quality priced bedroom furniture items, and the public loved her for it. They wanted cheap bedside tables. They wanted cheap beds. In them days, they didn't even have beds. They slept on straw and cockroaches. That's why they loved her so much, because they could just provide the peasants with what they needed. But then, in around 200 AD, who came along? The Romans. They wanted Boudicca as their queen. They didn't want these poxy Romans. What did they have? Sanitary, clean food, running water, prostitutes. What more could you ask for? But anyway, these peasants wanted Boudicca. And she wanted the peasants too. So she wanted rid of these Romans. So the first thing she did was kick some Colchester ass down in Colchesterium. Which is pretty much the start of the A5, the old Watling Street, which runs south to West Wales, pretty much right here. So she sacked this town of Colchester, but she wanted more. She wanted more Roman blood. She wasn't happy. She wasn't happy with how these people were being treated. So she marched up the A5 with her army. Bum, 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 bum. We're gonna kick some Roman arse, ain't we, Sid? Oh yeah, you just wait till them Romans, they'll be quivering in their boots. Bum, 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 bum. And they made camp around about here. Bip. Why don't we camp in the woods? 
Boudicca didn't want to camp in the woods. She knew that's where the Romans would be waiting, in the woods. It was the worst place to fight, especially in their manner. Well, not their manner, it's Anglo Saxon's manner. But this was the Forest of Arden, the ancient forest. Not so ancient now. I'm not going to hide in the forest, Jim. The Romans will be there. All right, my lady. Well, I suggest we camp just on the A5 then, my love. Yes, that's a much better idea, Jim. I think we'll camp there. Tell the boys, settle down for the night. Cup of cocoa, battle in the morning. The Romans sat in wait. They were camped in the woods. I know, I know she will be here, eh? She will definitely be here. I can smell it. I can smell those English pigs. Hmm? You smell it? Eh? Hey, Enrique, you can smell the pigs, eh? They waited morning, noon, and night for booty cheeks. She didn't turn up. Their plan was wrong. They needed to move somewhere else somewhere out of this forest, out of this wood, away from these sheep. The sheep bought flies and with flies came malaria and that's what decimated the dinosaurs. So the Romans knew fully well what this lethal mosquito could do. It could wipe out the dinosaurs, it could potentially wipe out those too. So they got out of the woods it saved their lives that day. So, it went somewhere else. Now, I'm going to show you why this place is so significant, as they say. As I pan round, I'm just going to put a little marker here. This is where Boudicca allegedly camped her troops for the night. But, little did she know the Roman legionnaires, <laughs> they were at the top of this hill. They were waiting for her in the woods. Because back in them days, when there was thieves and vagabonds and people making mud houses and eating their own shit, all this was woodland. And it was known as the Arden Forest. They wanted to keep this road safe and clean. So what did they do? They stationed a garrison town, just here. And that was called Mandanusium. Mandanusium, modern day. Today, we call it Mansetta. Part of the industrious hatting town of Atherston, likened to the cantina bar from Star Wars, Back in the day, it was a Roman garrison town. This, was, this town was meant to protect the A5. No one was going to get past, apart from Boudicca. She was just about here, marching her troop. Mandanisninium. Now, Mandanisninium, as it was known in Roman days, was a garrison town. It was a fort full of soldiers. Stood there to protect the A5 from invaders going up the A5 into Wales. So, Boudicca, she was down there having a cup of tea, having a bit of pig dick, eating a bit of deer, making skins out of animals and shit. And the Romans, they were down there in their little fort. Boudicca thought, I don't even know I'm coming. I'm going to kick their ass. But the Romans, they're clever sausages. They sent their attack dog to sniff out any bags, just in case the attack dogs came back. They'd smelt a rat. So what did the Romans do? They sent a force, not down the A5, down here, not down there. No, they sent it to the top of this hill. 
a force of cavaliers, centurions, and other assorted men with bats and stuff, and uh, spears and swords with a couple of shields, stood atop of this mount. In those days, they didn't have binoculars, so they had to use uh, milk bottles um, to see. So they got the milk bottle um, assessment kit out and spied down the hill. And what did they see? They saw Boudicca's camp. Hey, look, there is a Boudicca's camp. I can see it. What shall we do? Eh? I don't know, Gennaro. Maybe we should uh, attack it? Eh? Yeah, good idea. Now we've turned into Mexicans. Ah, but yes, the Roman Legion. We get legionnaires from all over the world, so you could indeed be Mexican. So, the deal was set, and as dawn rose, the Roman soldiers woke with their spears and shields, looked down into the valley below. The Anglo-Saxons were still snoring and sleeping with their sisters. <laughs> this was going to be a riot. So, down the hill they ran. Ah! Shields! Shields! Down the hill they ran, they ran and ran and ran until they could run no more and clash, bang, smash, smash, stab. They killed the whole Anglo-Saxon army dead. Dead to the ground, they killed them. Booty cheeks. She was defeated. This was to be the downfall of the Anglo-Saxon Empire. Boudicca was defeated at the bottom of the hill by the Romans who lived just down there. But it's only on the doorstep, isn't it? We live in such a shit town. Nothing about, nothing to do. It's so boring. Well, I'm on a one-man mission to make that change. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Rory's Rambles and Max, the Superhound. Stay safe, kippers. <laughs>